Hey guys, it's Nick from BonBonsai.com and today I'm going to talk about the history of the bonsai. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then go to the link above at BonBonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, to the topic at hand, everybody has heard of the bonsai. But very few people know anything about the history of this miniature tree or where the tradition came from. Bonsai is a Japanese term which, in its native language, translates to meaning tray gardening. This term describes exactly what bonsai is, as it is a tree which is grown in a small pot or tub, enabling it to be kept indoors. These trees are not always genetically predisposed to be small, and so they're kept this way through careful pruning. The ability to care for a bonsai tree, keeping it small and healthy, is an art form in itself. The trees are commonly pruned in an aesthetically pleasing shape, another reason why they are seen as works of art and not just as plants. The term bonsai is widely known and understood, and yet the art was originally found in China by the name of Penjing. The Japanese art of bonsai stemmed from this, and so is actually more modern than the Chinese. However, the Japanese version is, one, is the one which is known more widely. Discoveries have been made in Egyptian tombs of sketches showing miniature trees and pots. These are thought to have been kept as decorative purposes, and the pictures date back to four millennia ago. After this time, there is evidence to suggest that trees were transported in the caravans of Asia as they traveled around as they were used for medicinal properties should someone have fallen ill. The art of bonsai as we know it stems from the Chinese art of Penjing, which is a 2,000 year old tradition. It was brought to Japan somewhere between the 7th and 9th centuries by the imperial embassies to Tang, China. Initially, it was enjoyed only by nobility. It was not a hobby which was enjoyed by the masses. However, over time, it began to filter down through the social hierarchy and became something with which much of the population enjoyed. The precise, or the rather, the practice of precise pruning and shaping miniature tree, of miniature trees is still in place in both China and Japan. However, the Chinese tend to keep them for out display, outdoor displays, and so, although still smaller than normal trees, they are somewhat larger than Japanese versions, who create the pieces of art to be displayed primarily in the home. For anyone considering turning their hand to this hobby, it is well worth reading up on the subject beforehand as the trees require careful nurturing. It is not just the leaves which require trimming. The roots need to be attended to as well. And the amount of water they require is practically an art form in itself. Information on this widely, is widely available on the internet, meaning that anyone serious about trying this should be able to do so successfully. That's all for today. And make sure you check the link above and get information on how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai tree. I'll be making dozens more videos concerning bonsai. So subscribe and stay tuned. See you in the next one.